Good afternoon and welcome to Business Incorporated, coming to you live from Lagos. I'm Chimeze Obi Iwago. Ghana's parliament passes the Petroleum Production and Exploration Bill into law. Ivory Coast plans to complete a sale of 150 billion CFA francs worth of Islamic bonds later this month. Plus, South Sudan's inflation hit 661.3 percent. Well, we'll begin here in Africa, Ghana precisely, where the legislature has passed the Petroleum Production and Exploration Bill into law, putting Ghanaians at the forefront of all petroleum activities and ensure that they benefit from the country's new resource. The implementation of this new law is expected to ensure that the oil find benefits Ghanaians, while the foreign oil companies also get fair returns on their investment. Now, under the law, indigenous Ghanaian companies will be given first preference in the grant of petroleum agreements and licenses, while there shall be at least 5% equity participation by an indigenous Ghanaian company other than the GNPC before an international oil company is deemed qualified to enter into a petroleum agreement or license unless otherwise approved by the minister. And in the UK, Barclays Bank has paid a further $100 million to settle a claim by 44 U.S. states that it rigged the LIBOR rate system between 2005 and 2009. A LIBOR or London Interbank offered rate is used by banks to set the cost of lending money to each other. Our New York Attorney General said government bodies and not-for-profit organizations had been defrauded, defrauded of millions of dollars. The LIBOR scandal uh, has already cost Barclays $453 million. That sum was paid to the U.S. Justice Department, the U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission, and the U.K.'s Financial Services Authority in 2012. Now, crude prices edged lower today and continued worries over a global oil glut and as investors took reports of profits on gains of nearly 3% from the previous session, beating down upwards momentum from a possible meeting of oil producers. And how is the European markets reacting to this? Orich Bartz, DWTV Channel's TV financial correspondent, joins me now. Good afternoon, Orich. Our oil price fell today as worries over glass and um, profit-taking bit back uh, optimism over OPEC meeting. Now, there are some indications that um, an oil output freeze could be discussed on the sidelines of an energy conference in Algeria in late September. How is this development driving investor sentiment in the market today? I, well, the, the oil price is uh, going just a little bit down uh, on the news, uh, but uh, remember it has been on the rise uh, since early August when it hit uh, a several week low. And uh, I think there's some profit taking here, as you said, but uh, also a, a wait and see attitude. At the moment, the oil price thus uh, is not a major uh, factor in the development of the markets today. They're, they're relatively quiet all in all. And uh, I think the major element uh, or the major supporting element Element, uh, for that uh, is central bank policy. Uh, people are betting on uh, more support uh, from uh, the European Central Bank, perhaps at some point, from the Bank of England, uh, from the Bank of Japan, from trouble spots, uh, in other words. And uh, a lot of people are also banking on the Fed not moving or not moving very, very fast uh, uh, this year. And uh, this is seen to be uh, good for equities, and uh, I, I think that's the major element driving the markets today. Oil is important. It's, uh, since oil has become such an issue this year, it is uh, on the horizon horizon, but at the moment, a little bit on the back burner. Uh, or reach that, let's look at um, the libel scandal in the UK, where Barclays is now paying a further $100 million uh, uh, over this uh, fraud case. What are the comments uh, out there about this libel scandal, which has already cost Barclays about $453 million? Thank you. 
That's right. I think a lot of the traders here in Frankfurt are happy that uh, there's another bank in the limelight on the, on the bad side of investors and on the bad side of, of authorities, uh, not the Deutsche Bank uh, for a change. Uh, the Deutsche Bank has been in the headlines with so many uh, horrific stories uh, in, in the past weeks and months. People are a little bit relieved perhaps that it's Barclays now. Uh, bad from the point of view of Barclays, of course. A hundred million is nothing to sneeze at, but it's something that the bank can digest, and I'm sure that it is prepared for that to put back some money in order not to get into any financial trouble with that. For banks as a whole, it's not an issue in the market today. The, the European banking sector is uh, looking okay. And um, another thing, though, is the, the image problem uh, with Barclays now and the news. Uh, each time one of the banks, uh, regardless of which it is, comes into, into the news with a moral integrity problem like this, uh, it reminds people that, oh, yes, there was something that the banks did wrong. And each time, of course, people ask, have they really learned something of it? And that's a problem for the banks as a whole. I think that's more important than the $100 million that uh, Barclays has to pay. Now, why Barclays is battling with its own crisis? Germany's biggest automaker, Volkswagen, is yet to come of its um, emission scandal. Now, Italy's antitrust regulator has fined the automaker over 5 million euros for its dis dieselgate um, software manipulation. Has the last been heard of VW's emission scandal? No, certainly not. Uh, Italy is only one country that's uh, following investigations, uh, investigations like this and acting on it. There are other countries in Canada, there's something pending. Volkswagen is facing fines in, in many countries, more U.S. states uh, getting involved. That uh, news from July. Uh, there are damage claims pending from dealers, uh, from investors, from customers, and uh, it's still going to cost VW a heck of a lot of money. Nobody knows how much, but it's sure to eat away at profits uh, for some years to come. Honestly, Orich, we can't really wait to see the end of um, this um, VW uh, emissions scandal. In the meantime, do have a wonderful day. Orich Bart, DWTV Channel's uh, TV correspondent reporting there from Frankfurt Stock Exchange. I will move over now to Asia, where Japanese shares moved higher today, managing to resist the negative trend set by Wall Street. However, Japan's Nikkei 225 index rose 0.7%. In China, markets traded with caution. The mainland Shanghai Composite was 0.3% higher, while Hong Kong's Hang Seng remained flat at 22,468.47 points. In Australia, the ASX 200 index closed 0.3%. South Korea's benchmark Kospi index ended the day up 0.6%. In the meantime, China's consumer price index rose 1.8 percent year on year in July, while the producer price index dropped 1.7 percent from a year ago. The CPI, a main gauge of inflation, rose 0.2 percent month on month in July. The National Bureau of Statistics says the main reasons for the monthly rise in the CPI figure are the impact of heavy rain on the production and delivery of the vegetables in many parts of China and rising service costs at summer holiday. Meanwhile, the PPI, which measures costs for goods at the factory gate, also rose 0.2 percent month on month in July. The PPI decline narrowed from a 2.6 percent decrease in June. However, the July reading continued a 52-month decline streak as China's economic slowdown and industrial overcapacity dampened prices. And a total of 40 suspects, 35 from the Chinese mainland and 5 from Taiwan, have been brought back to China from Kenya in police custody, allegedly involved in 60-plus fraud cases worth 4 million yuan. That's about 600,000 U.S. dollars. They belonged to one of two groups arrested by Kenyan police on November 29, 2014. We will appoint the Beijing Municipality Public Security Bureau to be in charge. Who will find out all the facts and recover the illicit money? No matter where the suspects flee to, and no matter where in the world they commit the crimes, the public security departments are determined to bring all of them to justice and try our best to recover the losses of the people.